So it has been brought to my attention that the Samsung 980 Pro, the two terabyte version, the firmware, there is a specific firmware that is corrupted and it is actually creating some problems with the drive. And I wanted to take a moment to discuss that and make you guys aware and exactly how to fix this before your drive fails. So stick around. All right, so don't be scared. There is a way to fix this. Uh, the 980 Pro, again, if you own a 980 Pro, a Samsung 980 Pro, two terabyte, and it was manufactured in 21, and the firmware started with a three, then you have a corrupt or bad firmware. And what's happening is the drive is actually prematurely failing and going into a read-only state. So it's uh, it's creating bad sectors uh, in the NAN and just um, it just it, it's making it look like they're bad. They're they're not, but the firmware is making it look like they're bad. So it can only take so many errors, and then the drive actually goes into that state, and then the drive is no good. You cannot. It, once it goes bad, it's done. So you cannot flash it back to an old one, no matter what you do, you're done with that drive. So there's a way to fix it and a way to check to see if it is. So you wanna check to see if you got bad uh, or if you have the bad firmware. Uh, and also you can check and do a diagnostic scan through the Magician, Samsung Magician software. And I'm gonna kinda just uh, go through and show you how to do that. But what you're gonna wanna do is go to uh, the Samsung website, just type in Google, uh, Samsung Magician Software, get to the latest download for that, download it, install it, and uh, run that, and you can do a check on it. We're gonna go over actually to my main computer, and we are going to, or the maker is what I call it, <laughs> and we are going, to, I'm just gonna show you, I already have the software installed because I've had it for years, um, but these have the 970 Evo, so they're not going to directly apply to that because I don't have right now a computer with the two terabyte version in it to even demonstrate uh, just showing it. So anyway, that's what you're gonna have to do and that's gonna tell you and it's gonna automatically prompt you if you have an outdated firmware and you can automatically update it. It's very nice, very simple, very quick. So. Uh, with that said, also, when you have your box here, you'll see a date code that's usually on the box. Now, of course, this is uh, not the correct drive, but this is just a demonstration. This is the 970 Evo Plus, but you will have a date uh, usually yeah, right there um, printed on the box so you can tell. Otherwise, it's on your drive. Um, for the manufacture date. So um, I don't believe uh, the Magician software will tell you what date is manufactured, but whether it's manufactured in 20, 21, 22, 23, um, just check the firmware and always keep your firmware up to date. Because if you don't have the Magician software installed, chances are you're not updating your firmware. Um, I mean, unless it's through Windows, but it's gonna come not as fast, it's gonna be not as good. So make sure you get that installed and get it up to date. So let's jump over to my computer and I'll just uh, kind of hold the camera or maybe set up the tripod and uh, show you all about that. Cause unfortunately the She-Hulk has all Western digital drives in it. So I can load the software, but it's not gonna make much of a difference. Um, I'd rather just go over to my main computer to show you cause I already have Samsung, Samsung drives in it. So let's go over. All right, so I made the background black, so just be a little bit better to visually look at here. Um, up at top, you can see what drive you're actually selected on. I have a couple 970 Evo Pluses and a couple 860 Evos. Those are the SATA drives. And then here's all your information. And uh, if you come right down here to the diagnostic scan, you can run like a short scan 
and you can see you'll watch these these blocks um, going and if you get any red it'll indicate right here red and then the bluish I guess is good um, right now it's just preparing and we're gonna kind of let this run through I may fast forward through a little bit of this I don't want to just sit here um, but you can see, and it's a good idea to run this beforehand just to see if you have any bad sectors in your drive. If you do have, see, now it's going through and it's telling me all of them are probably good. I have never had a problem with this drive, so I don't suspect I'm going to. But go ahead and do this before you actually update just to see if you have any bad sectors. Um, and right as this finishes here, we're going to come right down here to where you can actually see where it says update. And this update will have a like an N right next to it, which will indicate there is a new update. If there is an N there, what you're going to do is you can click on it. And now you can see the software. You can update the actual version of the software that you're running for the Samsung Magician software and all of the rest down here, these, this is where the firmware is. So these are all your drives and the firmware. Now, if you scroll over, uh, well not scroll over, but if you look down right here, it says latest version. And you can see mine starts with a two, two or two B, two Q, whatever it is. And the next one is the same thing because it's the same exact drive. And then I have my 860s, which start with something different. Now, if your 980 Pro 2 terabyte starts with a 3, you probably have, if it was manufactured in 21, those are the reported ones that are having issues. If it starts with a 3, that one is probably corrupt. And you might have, if you went back, you would, uh, you would have seen some red sectors in here, and those are the ones that are going bad. So again, if you go into update, you'll see a spot somewhere in here, it'll say update, and you just click on update, and then it will do its thing. The computer is gonna also re wanna reboot, so let it do that. Uh, if it prompts you, just reboot it, um, and you'll be all set. Otherwise, uh, then you can come back in here, do another scan, and you'll see all those red blocks will probably disappear and go right back to blue, and you will be all set. All right, guys, once you have that software downloaded, that's it. Get in there, get that drive checked, make sure that you have that firmware up to date. You don't want to go through the process of reinstalling a new drive, putting everything back on it. Uh, that's if you had backups or... Um, you know, you didn't care about your data or whatever, but if you cared about your data, I hope you have backups if that thing fails and you didn't check this out before it did. Um, I just hope the video gets to you before it does fail on you so you can check it out because some people don't have the Magician software installed and then their, their drives, the, the firmware on the drives actually doesn't update uh, on a regular basis or prompt you to update it. So that can be an issue with some, some people. So I hope this gets out to you and you know, find it helpful and useful. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna wrap this thing up. So uh, feel free to comment down below. It's right there. Just type away and ask any questions. Again, if your comment doesn't post right away, it's because I have to approve of it and it can take up to a full day for me to get to it, look at it and approve it. So, uh, but other than that, hit that like button, make sure you smash it and tell everybody else you know to hit that like button. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that bell icon right next to it uh, for any future videos that I do post. You may be interested in other videos that I have that are completely unrelated to this um, and on different topics, computer builds and whatnot. So um, yeah, that's it. Let's get out of here. And until next time, guys, take care.